All right, so I got one more powder measure uh, test to do here. This is the Hornady uh, bench rest grade powder measure. And just like I suspected, it will, let me throw this box out of the way, it will fit, um, it, it will hook up to the lock and load linkage system there, the, the uh, case activated uh, powder drop linkage. Uh, here was my my old uh, Hornady measure. Uh, let me zoom out here. There we go. Uh, that's the one uh, that came with uh, the press, actually, uh, when I got the AP press. So this is the one that came with it. And as you can see, the difference is uh, the bench rest grade one has a micrometer adjustment on the uh, uh, for the for the powder adjustment there, whereas the other does not. And other than that, I don't see a lot of differences. I think maybe the size of the metering cavity could be a little bit smaller in the bench rest one. Uh, whenever I get done cycling all this powder out of it, we will uh, we'll come back to this and uh, compare the two. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna get set up here. I've already um, uh, cleaned it very thoroughly. I actually took a a uh, paint sprayer, um, like you would, uh, you know, sp uh, a paint a car with, and uh, put uh, filled it full of alcohol and sort of like pressure washed out the, all the insides. Then I wiped it out with a rag, you know, took all this apart, cleaned it really well, and then um, coated the insides with some uh, powdered graphite and cycled a little bit of that through there. And I've also already cycled like half of a, a hopper tube full of powder through it. Um, which was probably somewhere around a hundred charges of around 28 grains. And, uh, don't mind my little, my little makeshift, uh, cap here. Uh, I didn't feel like digging the, uh, the other one out of the box and cleaning it and everything. So I just threw an old yogurt, um, container on top there just to keep dust out of my powder and everything. But, uh, anyway, um, still got the, uh, same fire case, uh, that I had from all my previous tests. And uh, it's zeroed out really nicely. Well, it was a minute ago. I might have. It shouldn't have moved very much. Yeah, there we go. I must have still had a, a little flake of powder in there or something. So uh, anyway, I'll keep keep that around here. Let me get resituated and uh, we'll start uh, uh, dispensing some charges. All right, here we are. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead like I've been doing and uh, dispense uh, or just kind of discard the first first two or three here which I've already ran quite a bit of powder through this thing so this is probably not necessary but just for the sake of the video I'm doing it all right let's check the zero on the case it's good. All right, let's get to it here. Twenty-seven seventy-four. And I'm probably just gonna go ahead and do fifty. And if uh, nothing too eventful happens on that, I'm just gonna call it a test. I don't think I'm gonna play around with different powder levels and that sort of thing. 2776. Just because I don't know if it's made that big of a difference when you when you got the baffle in there. Twenty seven eighty. Well so far it's looking pretty good. I'll flip back down to 78, but uh, like I've done in the past, whatever, I, I set the case on the scales, I give it about a second to settle down, and whatever that reading reading is, that's what I go with. So 27, well, I'll go with 76 on that one. If it settles down pretty fast, that's what I go with. You know, it could be in between weights, you know, the resolution of that scale is just a 0.02. Uh, so, like right there, it could be really 
0.73 and then the scale is just trying to round up or down whichever one it's closest to. 27.74. Let's see, that was the first first five charges. So I'm gonna I'm gonna break away here and just keep on going. And if anything eventful happens, I'll check back in and let you know. All right, so here we are, halfway done, or almost one charge away from being halfway done. This is the 25th charge. 27.88. So up to this point, our extreme spread has been 0.22 grains with a standard deviation of 0.05364. Um, anyway, so that was the first 25. Uh, I'm going to keep on going here, dispense 25 more. And uh, I think after 50 charges, we ought to have a pretty good idea of what this thing is capable of doing so i'll uh, i'll check back in with you again like i said if anything eventful happens uh right here these last um three charges i threw were 27.84 0.68 and then 0.88 so that's actually where our uh extreme spread is has really been captured right there in just those those three um charges I think, let's see, my lowest one was 0.66 somewhere, and that happened back up here on charge number nine. So, okay, anyway, let's keep on trucking. Okay, so I just felt one little hard spot when I was dispensing this charge right here, so we're going to see what it turns out weighing. Um, 27.88, so it's it actually, when you feel... Um, like it hit a little bit of a, like what I've been calling a click or a pop or anything like that with the, with the Hornady's, it doesn't seem like, um, that charge weighs all that far off of, uh, any of the rest of them. So, whoop, there went my case. Dang it. I don't know, at least it didn't fall too far. It might back off good here. Well, that's good. At least we didn't lose lose nothing out of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, so that one was 27.88, and uh, that was my, let's see, 13th charge on the, on the second half here. So, uh, about the 38th charge or something like that, so... We'll, uh, we'll just keep on going, and I'll check back in, like I said, if anything happens. Okay, so I just got the heaviest charge of the day so far. Uh, it was a 2794. It's fluctuating back and forth to 96. But um, nothing at all felt different about that. It was, it felt like every other um, smooth charge that I've uh, thrown thus far. Let's see if it'll do it again. Oh, that one seems to be at 27.9, so I don't know, uh, oh, 9.2 that time, but I'm going to go with 9. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's, let's see, I'm only about 5 or 6 charges um, left here until I get the 50 throws. So I don't know, uh, and yeah, now it settled back down, that's more along the lines of where it's been throwing. 27.84 okay i'm gonna break away again here and finish this on out and uh i've got an idea that we'll try whenever I come back. Okay, so I just finished dispensing all 50 charges there. And now what I want to try is I want to see what we have to do to make this thing throw crazy. You know, <clears throat> like try to make it do bad. So let's, let's see what that would take. I'm just going to go real fast and then a hard slam down and let's just see what happens there. All right, was that was a twenty-seven ninety-eight? I'm on. I'm gonna record it. Now 
And I'm seeing a little bit of a... Okay, I believe that's graphite. Like I said, I put some graphite uh, down in this and ran it through. It could have been some that was maybe sticking around the, the outside of the drop tube or something there. Um, I think I might have shook it loose a little bit that time. Um, all right, let's see. What if you go up a little bit and you're like, oh, crap, I don't know if I want to do that or not. And let's, let's see, I might be getting ready to make a mess here if I do that too many times. Uh, let's see if any, any came out. Yes, a little bit did. Okay, I'm glad I didn't. I'm going to do that again and not go quite as far. Okay, so well, let's say you forgot to put a bullet in. And then you back back down. But you didn't raise it up enough to where it shouldn't have dropped anything. I'm going to do that just a few times. Let's just, let's just see how crazy it might throw if you do this enough times and really just keep packing the the powder down in the in the metering cavity i'm gonna check this and just make sure none made it in nope it didn't all right good deal all right now let's dispense this charge hmm, 2906 okay now let's do I don't know. A really slow, slow throw. Okay, right there, it kind of hit that hard spot. Okay, then I'll come back down just agonizingly slow. <laughs> All right, let's see what that did. 2786. So that seemed to throw more along, more along the lines of, uh, I know what I'm going to do. move these over here and I'll make little notes about them. Let's see, that one was a hard slam. Then this one was pack the meter. This one was granny slow. <laughs> so um, let's make sure our zero is still good. Yep. Well, I said it was. And the, the negative number is still staying the same, so... Yeah, we're good. Um, let's see, what else can I try? Um, let's see, I went really, really fast. Let's see, I should probably... Yeah, fast hard slam. Um, hmm. I don't. I'm running out of ideas here. Um, let's do one more really slow one. All right. So right there is the point that it starts cutting the powder. Twenty-seven seventy-six. And that was another, another granny slow. All right, let's do one more uh, fast one, and we'll call it a, we'll call it a test. Gosh, that feels so weird. Huh? Twenty seven ninety six. It's, it's uh surprising to me that um, that it throws heavier when you go fast. I want to try that again. I would not have thought that. <laughs> so I don't know. Twenty-seven seventy-four. Uh, that was another. That was another fast one. Okay. So anyway, uh, beats me. I, uh, apparently, it just kind of. Oh, let's do one more. Let's not call it. Let's not call it twice and quits. Let's do. 
All right, one more, one more fast one. And back up to 2798. So it almost don't seem like it matters. Oh, whoops, wrong column. Um, it almost doesn't seem like it matters if you run it fast, hard, or whatever. It could potentially throw near the bottom of its range or near the top. So, uh, beats me. Anyway, okay, let's get off here and, and get to the uh, results. Okay, just as promised, I was going to show you the uh, the metering cavity uh, uh, between the two of them. So, uh, like, there's the bench rest model. Um, let's see if I can get a flashlight in here and give you a good a good look. So there's the metering cavity uh, in it, and you see all that black uh, that black residue. That's the powdered graphite that I that I ran through um, after I cleaned it. And Hornady actually recommends doing this, and I, I think about all powder, uh, yeah, powder measure manufacturers recommend it. It just helps uh, your powder not stick um, to the to the casting and stuff in there. Should promote consistency. All right, let me get my other one. Uh, not lay yet. Oh, here it is. All right, here's my my regular one. You can see just the regular old metering cavity, and uh, let me get my lid off. Uh, it's got the baffle in it. Okay, here we go. So there it is. Um, I'm not sure if it's that much bigger or not. I know how we can tell. Let's do this. We'll take the uh, we'll take the uh, little meter and drum out here. Oh, it might be bigger. Okay, yeah, there's there's definitely a, a size difference there. Yeah, a pretty a pretty big one. Um, right there they are, one on top of the other, and you can see how much how much difference in size there is. So, yeah, definitely a, definitely a smaller drum or, or a smaller metering cavity in the uh, bench rest model. All right, so here's the results. Um. That all I did was the one run besides our uh, playing around stuff over here. Uh, that was 50 charges, and the there's the average was 27.79. Extreme spread of 0.28. Um, standard deviation of 0.061. So, yep, take that for what it's worth. Uh, here is my original. Let's see. Here's the. Corner D with graphite. Y'all actually didn't see this test because uh, it was after I acquired my graphite powder and I started playing around uh, with with putting some of that uh, through my measures. Uh, here, I can't remember if I changed. I must have changed settings uh, here between these two dispenses uh, because uh, yeah, I dropped by almost 0.3 grains. Um, so after I, yeah, this is the Hornady with graphite. Yeah, uh, after I've done that, uh, you can see the the ES on the on the first run was 0.22. The ES on the second run was 0.3. Um, so, and here's the bench rest one that we just just did, 0.28. I mean. It might just be me, but I don't think there's a uh, much of. I don't think you're gaining any accuracy or consistency very much uh, with the bench rest measure. Uh, standard deviation 0.061. Standard deviation over here was 0.054. That one did get a little worse. I don't know. Let's see where was my uh, 27, 54, and 84. I don't know. I don't know if I just. Um, 
I don't know if it was just having a bad day then or what, but point three was my worst on that 25 um, round test. And this was point two eight. So you're only two hundredths away from my worst on this one. Now this was my original Hornady test, you know, just the regular one before I ever added any graphite. And uh, you can see this is when I was trying uh, with baffles, no baffles, you know, all the different powder levels and stuff. And as you can see, I don't know if it made that big of a difference or not. Uh, here's one, um, this one here where I did a, a hard slam down and this was an average of 50. And even then it only, the ES was only 0.2. And, um, and there's another one with, uh, more powder in it. Um, it went up to 0.32. So, um, there was a, a 25 round, uh, average there that only had 0.16 extreme spread. So anyway, um, yep, there's, there's my results. And then again, you know, over here, we were just playing around with all the, with, with actually trying to make it throw bad or throw very inconsistent. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how much input we had. It seemed like I still hit, you know, around the average on one of them at 27.74. And then I did have two that threw heavy there. Uh, well, three if you count the, the first one. So, and then uh, we did get one really high one there at the 29.6 when we kept packing the meter. You know, I, that's when I was slamming the press up and down like who knows probably 10 times before I actually dispensed that charge so obviously uh, I kind of knew that one was coming uh, I was kind of surprised at how heavy the granny slow one was that one time but then you know a slow one uh, also threw within our, our average throw so anyway uh, thanks again for watching this hope you enjoyed it and I'm probably beginning to run out of measures that I can hook up to my uh, auto throw linkage to test. So I guess I'm going to have to make the big comparison video here really soon. So uh, be looking forward to that and I will talk to you again soon.